Hey guys, Roger Bricks here, and I'm going to show you how to make an intro in Cinema 4D R11.5 or R12. I'll be using R11.5. Uh, you can use any version uh, down to R10 and up. I think this works for those. Definitely works for R12, R11, and R11.5. Alright, so let's get started. Uh, first, you want to add a background, so add a floor. And just go to chord and put most of these to nine. My bad. So it's really wide. So there we go. All right. So put the Z to nine 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 and the X to nine nine nine. So it'll look really wide. Double tap down here. Double tap on the mat and put whatever color you want. I'll just put blue. Drag it onto there. All right. So if we go here, what we got so far is just this. Put this down here. All right. So now we want to add a text. All right. So we got our text. Click on your text. Go to object. Put whatever. I'll just put hello. So, it's not really that 3D. So, to make a 3D object, go to Extreme Nerves and drag your text so the arrow is pointing down to the box. And now you'll get a 3D text. Click on Extreme Nerves, go to Caps, change Start to Fill a Cap, and change End to Fill a Cap. Change both of them to 10. So, then, this is what we got got this text all right so we want to add another color so double click on this little box right here and click on that we'll put red, uh, red for this one maybe okay. so there we go all right now let's add a light so just go to light right here Move this around here. Top, so like right here maybe. So what we got, it's got this text. Maybe move this a little higher. Maybe right here. Mm. Whatever, we'll keep that. So you just got this hello, some light. Alright. So when we back out, we'll just see hello. Alright, so we want to add another wall. Floor, my bad. And for this one, hold on. For this one, we just want to make it so it's um so it's facing like towards us hold on all right we'll just keep that all right now you want to go to a complete different place maybe right here where there's nothing oh hold on you want to zoom out so you can see your text and something else. So, add another text. Another extreme nerve to make 3D. I'll just put hey on this one, but for, you want to put your YouTube channel and uh, what else? So you put like After Effects or something like that. Or like reviews or something like that. So, change the gap to 5. Move it up around here Not bad you want to move this right here you want to move your text so you can't see your other text straight up hold on 
All right, so you got this text. Do you want to add another color? You can use the same color. You can use a different one. Then, you, or you just drag that on there. So, all right. So you got your two text. You can put how many you want. Your choice. I recommend about three, but I'm just putting one because I want to make it nice and short. All right. So you want to zoom out and just want to go to your first text. First text is right here. So maybe start right here. Now we're going to start with our framing. So at the very start, you want to add a keyframe by clicking on this little key. Oh no, hold on. Click on that key and delete it. My bad. Add a camera first. Go where you got the light. Four arrows pointing out, and just click on camera. And just make this wider and go to cameras, scene camera, click on camera. A lot of cameras. Okay. So first you want to click on the key right there to make a keyframe. And you just want to drag it to about 60 frames. I'll add 300. No, I'll add 200 frames. You might want to add more because I only have two texts. Alright, so you want to go to 60. And you want to put that keyframe down. Now you want to click on your camera. Little thing that two arrows like go in. And you just want to zoom in to your text. So around here where you want right there so then what you'll see it'll come in and it'll just zoom in like that it should be your YouTube name All right. alright now you want to go to your next place which I recommend should be 120 or it could be 180 but I'm gonna do 120 I'll do 125 again okay. zoom out and just find that other text so there's that other text hold on sorry All right. So you want to go to your other text. Zoom into it right here. So right there. All right. So let's go to the start. It will zoom in to your text go to the other text. Now you can make it go you want it to go to your other text that you added, but I'm not gonna do that. Oh my bad. And then I'll click okay. So now you wanna go here and go back to your other text. All right, so you get the point. I can't find it. Okay. So you get your text, and you go right up to it. So I'll add another keyframe here. Be my last. And you just go to your text. So what it will look like. For me, only because I have one text, two texts. It'll go up to your main text, so your YouTube channel, then like After Effects, and then it'll go to two of your other effects, and two of the other texts, and then yeah. So thank you for watching. 
It's been OJ Breaks. I hope you like this video on how to make an intro in Cinema 4D. In the description, I'll, I'll have uh, how to make an intro in After Effects, how to make an intro in Buff Tyler, how to make an intro in Sony Vegas. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this helped. This has been recorded with Snagit. It's not what I usually use, but okay. So, bye.